Well, hello and welcome to my channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Tiffany and I generally make grad school vlogs uh, documenting my time in a mental health counseling grad school program while parenting uh, four children and living the family life. This video will be a little different because I wanted to take you with me for the very end of my spring break and the very beginning of my kids spring break and my husband's spring break he's a teacher so unfortunately our spring breaks did not quite uh, line up so I start class on Tuesday and his uh, their spring break today's Friday their spring break you know starts today at the end of the day so we do have a little time to go on a little weekend trip so that's what I'm gonna bring you along for we're going to Hocking Hills Ohio we live in uh, Cincinnati and it's uh, Hocking Hills is about two and a half hours from here we've got a nice cabin for three nights and we'll just be spending the weekend there coming home on Monday I am looking forward to this trip, however, uh, getting ready for it, I am in like stress mode procrastination. If you watched any of my other videos, you know, sometimes I'm super into packing. I've got packing cubes, everything's organized, I collect everything and gather everything together for weeks. That has not been the case and I'm kind of throwing everything together. So much so that uh, I decided I did not want to find t-shirts for me to take. I didn't feel like I had any tops that I could find that I wanted to wear on this very low-key, uh, relaxed vacation. And so I actually have a tra Target drive-up order uh, for three <laughs> new $8 t-shirts because that's just what I could do. If you hear scampering, that's my cats playing um, and chasing each other. So, yes, I could not even pack everything because I just didn't want to deal with with it. That I'm waiting for that Target drive-up order to be ready, and that will be the third Target that I've been to today getting various things. <laughs> so if that tells you kind of my state of mind, third Target drive-up order, third Target of the day, uh, getting socks that I, again, I don't feel like digging up socks for the kids. So they all got a new bunch, <laughs> uh, t-shirts for me. And what was the other thing I got? I don't even remember. Um, but I could not manage to get all of these things in the right sizes at the same target. And so here I am chasing all over, uh, getting, getting all the things. So you know how it is if you're a chaotic ever you know felt chaos like this getting ready for a trip then you know how it is you know kind of what mode i'm in and where my head's at right now so no oh, i just my target drive up order is ready so <laughs> i'll go get that in a little bit first i might tackle trying to get the kitchen in some sort of order Take on any hikes that we might. 
might do. So I bought a bunch of those. We've got bagels for breakfast, some hot dog buns, more bagels, and then we're also taking some stuff that I wrote a list. I need to check that that we already have here. We didn't need to purchase new. So let me grab that stuff. All right, so Cheerios, some pretzel crisps, salami, oatmeal, popcorn. We're also going to bring um, tater tots that we already have. Hopefully they'll stay frozen enough on the short drive in the cooler. And like a, a little salad kit and things like that. So a few more refrigerated things that I don't want to get um, out right now, but this is kind of our food haul that I just need to pack up in our cooler. Well, hello, good morning, happy Saturday. We made it to Hocking Hills. I didn't end up filming amidst all the chaos uh, yesterday, but I did want to give you a tour. We've got this great little cabin and I'll show you around inside. All right, so the parking area is right here. There's our cabin. So. You can see it's just a really quick walk. Whew, it is definitely chilly. It's about 30 degrees and pretty windy. And all we really brought was sweatshirts. <laughs> Luckily the hikes are pretty short, but I am chilly. It's gonna warm up later, I think. The room opens very simply. Oh, there I say that. And come in. And right over to the left is the kitchen here. Obviously it's a little messy because we have been living in this. So there's a table. A little tiny mini stove. Sink. We've already washed some dishes. We've got a microwave. Coffee maker and knives in the cabinet here there's dishware and some bowls and strainers cups utensils cooking cookware trash Oh, you want to say hi, Louie? Hi. Are you having fun at Hocking Hills? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Baking sheets. And those are some uh, grill tools. So, no frills, but everything you need, certainly. I don't know if there's anything up here. I haven't looked up here yet. Uh, looks like a pitcher. Oh, there is a toaster. I was trying to toast bread this morning, um, a bagel, but I just did it on the stove because I couldn't find the toaster. Now I know. You want to say hi, Clara? Yeah. yeah. Are you having fun at Hocking Hills? You fell asleep in the car on the way here and then woke up in the morning. Were you surprised to wake up in Hocking Hills? Yeah. yeah. That was pretty funny, huh? Yeah. And then we've got the fridge, all our goodies, freezer. This is just a locked maintenance room. There's this closet here that we are not using that has vacuum and some cleaning supplies. Yeah, Louie, you want to show your your room? Here, I'll do the camera work. You talk, okay? Okay,
I haven't even really been in this room much, Louie. Woo! Super Bye. cool. Bye. I'm going to take a bigger look at this. Um, oh, yeah, this is pretty big. So then out in the hallway here, we've got our matching little toiletry bags. Here's the bathroom. Towels hang out, sink, toilet, and then shower. Let's see here. Yeah, my husband is sleeping in our room, but I will pop in. There's a queen size bed in here. And here's the living area. I've been watching some Disney Plus. We've got Inside Out. And then fireplace. And out here is really cool, although I haven't seen it in the daylight yet. Got a really spacious little screened in porch. And then the fire was on Oh, good. So, and then you can see we go right to the woods out here. It's really very, very nice. It truly is like a little cabin in the woods. So that's about all for the tour. If you ever come to Hocking Hills, I recommend it. Um, there is a really loud noise, like when the um, air or the heat comes on, it's like super loud. Um, and I think the batteries and the smoke detector need to be char changed because every so often it like starts to beep and flash at us uh, for like a few seconds and then it goes off. So we need to get that taken care of. But um, it's a great little thing. Space has everything we need. Great for a family. There's not a lot of places where everybody actually has their own bed. A lot of times we're figuring out floor beds and things like that for the kids. So this has been great. When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise. Say all the words out of my mind. About who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe I can't get it right. Remember the days I let slip away, it was simple at time. Mama told me before you leave, if there's only one thing you remember from me, child, when you're out on your own, a million miles from home, feeling good. Child, don't forget who you are. Don't lose your head or your heart. I'll bet my life. You'll be dancing on the moon. You'll be dancing on the moon. I see Clara. Oh. All right, good job. All right, we're going to walk on these cool looking steps. Be careful, Clara.
Just keep jumping, you got this. You're an experienced climber, nice work. When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the night. Alright, another cave. Let's see if I can make it. Remember the days I let slip away, they were simpler times. have had a lovely day here it took our time this morning we did the cabin tour we watched a movie we finished watching inside out and then we uh, headed to old man's cave it's a famous hike here and it was just about a mile and it was just perfect it was just the right amount of difficulty it was pretty easy but there were some tricky bits hopefully there's some good footage already in this video of that and then what did we do, Louie? Then we went to the pool, and now we're back at the cabin. Yeah, and I am mixing some meat for burgers. And we're going to grill some hot dogs and burgers. It's about 3.30 right now, so we're going to have an early dinner. We're pretty hungry. We haven't eaten really since breakfast. So we're going to have an early dinner and keep having fun here at Hocking Hills. Dreams, searching for the quiet that you need to breathe Gave up on your sanity to hide behind your shadow While you tried to take the sun down Hearts will never change to gold Out there thinking that you're in the world alone No one ever told you that you'll have to fight for something Or you'll never I found a perfect house yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found a make a couch <laughs> well, it has been a lovely couple days of hiking, and now we are off to a newish restaurant right at the State Park Lodge. So that should be a good time. And we're into Sunday evening at this point. So I think the plan is go to dinner, maybe go swimming again this um, evening after dinner while we're up at the lodge and then coming back to pack up so we're ready to leave in the morning. Well, Tiffany from the future here, I just sat down to finally edit some of our Hocking Hills vlog and realized I didn't really film an outro. I kind of said we were going to pack up, but I didn't give any overall impressions and so I thought I would do that now. So uh, where we left off, I think uh, we were headed to the lodge for dinner 
The restaurant at the lodge was just okay. Um, it was a fairly nice restaurant, like pretty nice decorations. So it kind of had a fancy vibe, but not too fancy for a family. Um, but the food was just okay. And uh, the service was very kind, but I had to ask for ketchup like three times. Actually, I only asked twice, um, and he had forgotten about it even after the second time and brought it like when I was already done and didn't really need the ketchup anymore. So, um, you know, human mistakes happen, but it was just kind of like uh, several things were just eh about it. But it was nice to have a sit down meal, and the lodge was great having the pool. Um, one thing I've really learned that I love at, on a vacation is access to a hot tub uh, just to kind of soothe my my body at the end of the night. I did that on our Disney cruise, um, on our trip to Disney World a while back, um, and then at this one. So that's something that I'll keep in mind that if that's available, that's a really nice way for me to kind of wind down. And it was really just the perfect weekend. They, we stayed up late and watched movies. The kids fell asleep on the couch a couple times and we just plopped them into their beds. We slept in, we kind of slept in, would uh, eat something, go on a hike, take a nap, go to the lodge, swim, maybe take another nap and then watch a movie and go to bed. <laughs> and just kind of that cycle on repeat. So it was really relaxing. Uh, and it's definitely one of the most beautiful places in Ohio that I've ever been. And the hikes are incredible. The two that there's the most footage of is Old Man's Cave and then Conkle's Hollow. Uh, we went on one other one that I didn't get much of, but what really blew me away about the hikes is you get so much bang for your buck, uh, which I mean that in a metaphorical sense, the act park entry there's no fees or anything um so it's free hiking and i feel like a lot of times to get views like we did you have to kind of hike a lot like you might have to hike up a mountain or you know something like that uh to get a good view but this you get a ton uh a variety especially in old man's cave with very um little effort the hikes are really short a lot of it's paved so they really make as much of it paved as they can to make it accessible for people um and i was just really blown away by that like inclusive accessible um aspect of it and just how much uh there was there so my kids loved it one of my kids especially said they really want to come back and it was just a delightful weekend. Uh, today it's already Easter right now, so it's been a whole week since we got back. So happy Easter to those that celebrate and be on the lookout for more vlogs. Um, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe, hit that like, it really helps me out. Um, I would love to grow this channel and bring you uh, more great stuff. So I hope you follow along and thanks for stopping by.